Corliss with Tormach. Today I'm going to go over setting up a speeder head and then uh, after we have the speeder head set up in the mill we'll dial in a, a mold blank. What you'd use a speeder head for is if you're using uh, real small end mills um, and you want to run them faster than what your machine will go. The machine or the speeder head will run uh, for every one RPM in it gives you three out so if you run it at five uh, spindle at 5,000, you'll get a, approximately 15,000 at your uh, cutting tool. Speeder head slides onto the spindle nose. Then you tighten this band. Once you have the collar band tight, tighten the collet. All right, now that you have the speeder head on the machine, you have to adjust um, the main drive pulley in the spindle so it, um, it doesn't rub on the housing or the belt. Okay, and to do that, use a couple screwdrivers here. Use a little bit larger one. To push up on the bottom of the shiv, push it all the way up and then get a little one in behind it and just bring it down a little bit. And when you tighten it, nice and free. Okay? You need a little bit of gap in there um, so it doesn't rub on the, on the plate and the belt doesn't rub on the side of the shiv. Okay, if you don't have it in the right spot, I'll show you what it looks like if you have it too high up in the collet. See, like this? Then the, it's hard to turn, so you know that it's binding up. So you gotta, you gotta lower it just a little bit. Once you have it, in the machine, the collar's locked, you got that shiv, or the, the drive pulley looking like it's pretty um, centered on the belt. Apply tension to this handle, and then tighten, tighten the screw in the back. Okay, so now we have the speeder head loaded, um, and now we can pick up the workings. Now, depending where you get your zero for your, uh, like our mold plate here, you can either sweep uh, one of the dowel pin holes. So when you go to do the other half of your mold, you can sweep the same hole. You could sweep the center. The speeder spindle is not going to be directly in line with the machine spindle. So if you were doing a roughing operation with the machine spindle before putting the speeder in, you have to re-indicate your piece, um, pick up your zero with the speeder head there will be some misalignment. There are ER16 collets that fit in the speeder. So you can get a 532nd collet, you can put an indicator in the spindle, just rotate it by hand uh, to sweep, sweep a hole. Uh, you can sweep the outside of the block. Put a 3 8 collet in here and then use an edge finder if you had a 3 8 bodied uh, edge finder. Just be aware that if you put an edge finder in here, it's 3 to 1. Output. So if you usually run your uh, edge finder at 2,000 RPM, don't put 2,000 RPM in the machine controller because that's going to give you 6,000 at the speeder output and your uh, edge finder may uh, fall apart. I'll just use the 530 seconds collet and the indicator will sweep this hole for zero.
Okay, we got the hole indicated in, so now you can pick up both mold plates the same um, by dialing in the same hole. Your zero may or may not be the, the center of the hole, you, but you should know where the, the hole is in reference to where you programmed the zero. And then that's it, you can just cut. Now the speeder head's gonna allow you to use um, small tools efficiently compared to what you could without the speeder head.